Chad G, how are you guys doing? Hope you're having a lovely week. Your boy recently got food poisoning. Let me just tell you, it was the worst experience of my life and I'm not exaggerating. So today I just wanted to share that experience with you guys and how miserable my life has been the last few days. This is my second time having food poisoning and there's some things I wish I knew that I know now, but I'm fucking stupid. Obviously the safest way to avoid it is make your own food at home. But let's be realistic, ain't nobody got time to make food every fucking day. Let me just be straight up with you guys. I would not wish this on my worst enemy. It is so miserable to get, like I can't even ex If you've had food poisoning, you know where I'm coming from. All right, so this is how the shit went down. I was just craving Chinese food, chicken fried rice, chicken balls. And I usually order from this place that I'm not gonna name because I don't wanna expose, but they've been dishing out the, the best Chinese food for years and I've never had a problem with it. Until this time! Eat all that shit up in like 20 minutes. I'm feeling good, fam. Fast forward three hours later. Feeling full as fuck. I've never felt so bloated in my life. It's like I just ate a week's full of food and it's all in my stomach. At this point, I still had no idea it was food poisoning. I just thought I ate way too much, way too fast. Hashtag fat ass Dave. I knew right then I either needed to puke this shit out or shit this shit out. <laughs> Looking back now, it was like 1 a.m. Why the hell was I eating so late? This is my own fault. Game over, where's the garbage can? I'm about to throw up. <laughs> Gross. I look in the garbage can, all I see is rice. I finally fell asleep for like an hour, and when I woke up, I was feeling miserable. Puked again, and I swear to God, I don't understand how there is that much rice. Like, I definitely just puked it out from a different meal. When you throw up, bruh, it takes so much energy out of you. I was just dead. I lost my entire appetite that day. Me! Out of all people, I didn't want to eat. I ate half an egg. That's it, half an egg. By the way, aside from puking, there's also diarrhea that comes with food poisoning. But to not gross everyone out watching this video right now, I will not go into detail about that, but just know your boy was pissing out of his asshole for two straight days. <laughs> That was definitely TMI. But now that I'm feeling much better, I wanna give you guys a few tips in case you ever get this. Just remember these things, okay? You're puking, you got diarrhea, bruh, that's mad liquid exiting your body, so drink up uh, ginger ale water, that's what I was drinking. Just, even if you don't feel like it, just drink, 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 drink. You're not gonna wanna eat shit the first day, you have zero appetite, but the second day, just remember brat. B-R-A-T. Bread, rice, applesauce, and toast. Those are the foods you should try to eat because they're easy to digest, unlike spicy or hot foods, anything like pizza. Probably not a good idea. You lose a lot of weight. That's the only positive thing. I am just glad to be back. I'm feeling 100%. That was just my terrible experience with food poisoning. Leave a comment down below if you've ever had food poisoning. Like, was it as bad as how I had it? Let me know. Hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll leave my links down below so you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Hit that red subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet. It's free. But I'm gonna go order some Chinese food, so I'll see you guys later. <laughs> no, I'm not. Never again.